<laughs> People will mess with you because they can get away with it, man. Do it all the time, man. I got a 40-hour-a-week job. Anybody got a regular 9 to 5? This is not paying the bills. <laughs> Nobody knows who I am. <laughs> I know y'all were looking like, he open for who? Who is it? <laughs> I don't know y'all either, so we even. I got a 40 hour a week job and I'm a licensed barber here in the state of Virginia. So just like today, I've done all three jobs in one day and I traveled to get here, but I got the energy to do it. Thank you, five hour energy. <laughs> that is like liquid crack, ain't it? You ever take five hour energy and you end up doing stuff that you know you should not be doing? Like, hey, give me your money. Like, why are you robbing me? I don't know, I got a lot of energy, man. I feel like I just smoked something. But I stay busy, man, because that's what I do. That's what I do. I have my nine to five. Let me ask you a question. Um, anybody work in corporate America in an office space? Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. <laughs> One person is okay. Everybody else is like, does he want us to respond? <laughs> yes, when I ask a question, say yes, clap, do something. <laughs> I work in a nine to five, man, in corporate America, man. There's a lot of silliness that go on in corporate America, but I will say this in regards to racism. We have to talk about this. And I, don't, I think I saw one white person in here, so it should go, cool. And, she, and she's not ashamed. She, she raised her hand up immediately. She understands. But I'm gonna tell you something. We have a way to communicate at work in regards to race that keeps us out of HR. And if you haven't seen it, it's just as simple as this. Hey, you see what happened to Craig? Craig who? You know him. <laughs> they got him. <laughs> to us, this is black, this is white. This is how we distinguish black and white, black and white. White people, they don't have that option. It's white, white on both sides, <laughs> which allows them to get right to the point. Hey, did you hear what happened to uh, Jason? Jason who? The black guy, you know. <laughs> The black one, yeah. That's what you deal with at work. Let me ask you a serious question, man. It's a serious. Uh, when is it okay at work? At work. This is about as nice and family oriented as I can do this. Uh, to do number two at 8.15 in the morning. Black folks, we all agree it is never okay to do that at work. 8.15 in the morning? 20 minutes ago, you just left home. <laughs> you wait to get to work? Mm -hmm. Might wanna do something about this. I'm in the bathroom, checking my nose, making sure I'm straight for the day, and all of a sudden behind me in the rush, <laughs> immediately, <laughs> like it hurt. <laughs> Say 15 in the morning. What were you eating at 3 a.m. to bring you right here? It's too early. Ah! I'll be honest, I don't care if it was black or white, if the person, I, I, I really don't. But I can tell you this if it is us, we go six floors up or six floors down. We know that from birth. We make a conscious choice. <laughs> Why? Because we don't want no one to see the shoes we had on to recognize us that day. Is that, is, is that Trevon? Oh, you nasty dude. Oh, I'm going to tell everybody you got on the bra. I know that's you, man. And you sitting there trying to float like a genie. Hope don't nobody see you. <laughs> don't nobody see your feet. <laughs> I don't care how bad it is. We'll get to the bathroom and it doesn't matter how bad it is. We kick the door open. Mm. We're so scared of everything. What's this dirt on? We think we hear something mess the whole transaction. <laughs> Hello? Play too much, man. 
I work around Caucasians. They don't care. They, what is that? And, and when they see you and they know you, they talk to you through the partition. Q, hey. Did you see the game? Don't talk to me, Kevin. <laughs> Do not talk to me. That's corporate America for you, man. Like I said, I'm a barber. I'm a barber, I'm a licensed barber, man. I've been, I've been cutting for like over 20 years since I was like 14. I'm 36 now, I know it don't look like it. I, know, I look young, yeah, yeah. It's all right, it's all right, plastic surgery. Look, but you know, I cut, and uh, you deal with some crazy uh, customers at the barber shop. You know, like um, I had this one customer who was blind. And this was our first time meeting. And he came in there, <laughs> ran into everything. I'm like, man, what is going on? Oh, okay, he can't see. So he sat in the chair, and I'm cutting his hair. And he, and he did something that kind of freaked me out. Because he likes to, you know, like a, a lot of people with disabilities and stuff, they don't want to feel abnormal, so they do things to feel, to make you be comfortable around them. So I'm cutting his hair and everything, and this dude is like, you see the game last night? Did you see the game last night? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you messed me up like that, right? And look, 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 and it got worse, right? So, you know, I'm cutting his hair, and we just conversing with one another and everything. And all of a sudden, as a barber, it's natural to do two things after you are done. You take that cape off, boom. <laughs> and he looked right there, because I realized what I did, and my man was like, you showed that mirror, didn't you? <laughs> Like, can you see? What is? I don't get it. I had this one customer. It's a female. She uh, she takes a lot of my time uh, cause she stutters. Yeah, yeah. She, she said, "Now I stutter. A lot of people don't really know that, but I let folks know. I don't really do it in front of people I don't know. It's not a joke. I just." I just bring my representative out until we get to know each other, and then I will mess up two hours of the rest of your night, I promise you. <laughs> Once we cool, and then you hear, you hear all that stuff, right? But she comes to the shop, and you know, like I'm a recovering stutterer, right? You know, like I've, I've gone to classes and stuff to, to, to learn how to breathe and talk, you know, like one of the techniques they tell you is as a stutterer, when you get excited, that's when you really stutter. But they tell you to take a deep breath, and on the breath out, talk. That's cool. Until 911 situation comes up, you got to make a phone call, you got uh, just a little bit of time to breathe. I'm like, 911, can I help you? I'm about to get shot! Didn't make it. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm a recovering stutterer, right? So it's kind of like people who recover from drugs. You're okay until the person who still does it comes around you scratching. So she comes to the shop, and, and, my, and my customer don't know I stutter. So, you know, we converse, talk with one another, and here she come. Uh, you, 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 you going to, uh, uh, uh. You, 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 uh. When they can't get it out, they just point to what they talk. Uh. You, uh. You, you are bad, uh, bad. Uh. Available. And I'm sitting there. Yeah. Look what you made me do. Now I'm scratching. Now I need a hit. I got a friend in Texas that actually stuttered worse than anybody ever heard stutter before. He's got to make a pop noise to get a word out. If he don't make this noise, 
You can't say nothing. It's sad, but it's funny when you hear it, right? It's, it's okay to laugh at this stuff, people. This, this is my life. He's not here anyway. This dude stutters bad. Like, you know, like this one time, cute girl, she come up to us in the mall, and she walks right to him. And I'm like, no, 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 because I already know what he's going to do. But he's so cool. She come up to him and say, hey, how y'all doing? What's your name? And he's so cool. He looked at me like, You gotta make that pop noise before you say something. <laughs> My name is Reggie. <laughs> and for sure, say ah. My name is Lisa. You done poked me in the eye, right? Now I'm laughing, this is funny to me, right? This is hilarious what's going on. And that's when she hits me with this whole lecture about me laughing at my boy stuff. I can't believe you would do something that inconsiderate. That's a speech impediment, he stutters, and you think that's funny. I'm like, hell, hell yeah. <laughs> you don't think too, Disabled people laugh at each other, they do the same thing. We have the same problem, it's okay to laugh, it's therapy for us. She keep on going, see, P, people like you, do you start too? What the hell you See, P. She's talking about people like you piss me off because you have no idea what he goes through. I said, girl, if, 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 if you don't shut the shit, shut, shut, shut the shh, shh. Shut up. I know what the, what, what in the world? I know what he go through. And he, my boy, back me up cool as, uh, you know, my man. <laughs> You're right, Quincy, you tell that girl. I don't know what she talking about, then.